Martha's Vineyard has become well known as a destination rich with natural beauty, coastal landscapes, rolling farm and woodlands, all mixed together with colorful bits of American history. What's hard to find here, however, is a place and an experience that embodies all of that. Hi, I'm Guinevere Kramer from Point B Realty. The Poly Hill Arboretum in West Tisbury is such a place. Well, actually, it's a unique place and experience all rolled into one and belongs on everyone's vineyard bucket list. The spectacular 70-acre setting is centered around one of the oldest farmsteads on the vineyard, which eventually became the island home of the late Polly Hill and her husband. A remarkable, inspiring woman by all accounts, Polly became quite a well-known plant and seed person, literally experimenting with and planting the seeds that are today the foundation of the Polly Hill Arboretum. Not only is it a living museum for trees of all kinds, there are public gardens, workshops, kids' activities, plants for sale, scientific research, and even education. There are many destinations within the Arboretum. One of my favorite trees to find is the monkey puzzle tree. A rare species in America, they're native to Chile and Argentina. These trees have been around forever and are actually called living fossils. Sadly, the monkey puzzle tree is now on the endangered species list. However, here at the Poly Hill Arboretum on Martha's Vineyard, we have seven for you to enjoy. Another great way to discover some of the many delights here is with one of the guides. Today, I'm lucky enough to be joined by Executive Director Tim Boland, who was able to share a wealth of knowledge about Poly Hill Arboretum. Out of the blue, somebody dropped off one of these tree faces, and we decided, wow, they're a great idea for adults and kids. Right. And so we have them on strategic trees, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a shock when you come around the corner and the tree's <laughs> staring at you. But everybody loves them, and when, as we walk, I'll show you a few more. Okay, wonderful. I, I love them. My kids I, love them. I do, too. I think they're really cool. That one, the eyes glow in the dark, though. No way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I collected this in a mountain top in Honshu, Japan, 2005. It's a dogwood, believe it or not. Really? It has a different kind of flower. But what it does when it, the wind blows, the branches kind of waft down like this, like they're flying, this will probably get 60 feet tall someday. There are plants in here. This is where you go for the rarity. Okay. And you are here to see North America's largest red-veined Inkyanthus, which is a weird name, but it's from Japan. This particular specimen is 40 feet wide and about 28 feet tall, and it has won the national champion record really? of the tallest Inkyanthus. So kind of based on the fact that we can grow these and they like our acidic soils, we are developing the national collection of this particular plant. And so there's seven or eight species and about 30 varieties, and we have most of them. Although Poly Hill is filled with a lot of unique plants that the rest of us might not end up growing, part of their mission is to develop, grow, and sell plants that do well here on the vineyard. It's a great garden resource, a hidden gem. The Arboretum is open year-round, and with the changing seasons on the island, there's always something unique and magical to discover. And that's why Poly Hill Arboretum belongs on everyone's vineyard bucket list at least once a season. For Point B Realty, I'm Guinevere Kramer.